let's go into I, the image, right? The image of divine mercy. Now, the powerful thing about the image of divine mercy is you notice that when most people talk about apparitions or, you know, Mary coming or Jesus coming, nobody else sees it. The children of Fatima, you know, when Mary appeared to them, did anybody else see it? Uh-uh, just the children. In divine mercy, there was a light from the rays of red and white, from the bright lights that came from Christ's heart that, every, that a lot of other people saw. Children came to the door and said, there's a huge light. Some people thought it was an airplane. Other sisters saw the light coming from St. Faustina's room. Could you imagine? You're St. Faustina. You're walking down the hallway, going back to your room. You walk in, you close the door, and you turn around, and there's Christ physically in your room. It wasn't just a mental vision. He was physically there. So he told her to have this image painted of him. And, and she did, and, and she didn't like it. She cried. And she said, Lord, nobody can paint you as beautiful as you are. He said, the beauty is not in the color or the brush strokes. The beauty is in the, the grace that you get from the veneration of this image. We don't worship the image. We worship what it represents, right? All right. Now, paragraph 48 in the diary says this. Jesus says, I promise that the soul that will venerate this image will not perish I also promise victory over its enemies already here on earth, especially at the hour of death. I myself will defend it as my own glory. This is a powerful promise. You know, many promises people have reported to us, their homes have been protected during storms. We had a, one letter from a man in Hurricane Sandy that consecrated his house to divine mercy. All the other houses were destroyed. His was not. We know from World War II, the Warsaw Uprising, that the image was left in particular areas and they were protected. Others were all completely destroyed. It's not a magic wand, it's not a rabbit's foot, but it's entrustment to what it represents, mercy itself, right? That's as important. Now, the Holy Father said that the image, a true image of Christianity of Christ needs to have the Paschal mystery. No other image really captures the Paschal mystery better than the image of divine mercy. 